Hey, anime Stark fam. Welcome back to another thrilling episode of What If Deku Was Betrayed. This is part 4, and trust me, things are about to get intense. But before we dive in, I've got some exciting news. Starting today, I'm committed to bringing you double the content. That's right, two videos daily on anime Stark, and I've also launched a new channel, Snuggy Dude. Find the link in the description. Don't miss out on the action, hit that subscribe button, and be sure to turn on the bell notification. Let's make this journey even more epic together. Now, let's jump into the latest chapter of What If Deku Was Betrayed, Part 4. Ronin, okay, you have 5 minutes to tell me what's going on, or I'll blow up this darned place with all of you inside. Everyone looked at the masked figure with uncertainty and fear. Then, as if a prayer had been answered, Uraka spoke firmly. Uraka, I told you, he's my Izuku. Pointing to Arrow. Ronin only looked at the Izuku in front of him with some doubt. The boy was identical to him, though his face and demeanor reminded him a lot of himself. He carried his bow, just like Ronan, unsure whether he should lower it or shoot as soon as he had the chance. Bakugo, you also brought Toga to the hideout. With fury. Todoroki, damn it, Uraka. Activating his quirk. Ronan, and I wanted to make this nice and peaceful adopting a fighting stance. Bakugo launches continuous AP shots without firing at places that could collapse the structure but Ronan's predator sense wasn't responding well. The boy can't dodge all the explosive attacks. Todoroki also attacks, the green-haired guy gets fed up, takes out his sword ready to end this damn nightmare once and for all and get the answers he needed. The blade glows once again in that reddish shine, making the boy smile with a certain violence. Ronan makes some moves and shouts loudly. Ronan, Ryuji no Keno Kurai, Rujin no Ken wo Kuri. Everyone startles at the scream and instinctively covers, expecting the attack but it never comes. The survivors of that apocalyptic world look up to see Ronan pointing his sword, just as puzzled as the rivals. Ronan, what the hell? Rujin no Ken wo Kuri. Come on, damn it, work. The sword was shining, but nothing happened. The fire dragon refused to come out, much to Ronan's annoyance, who was suddenly hit in the torso by a fireball from Todoroki, throwing him back a few meters. Arrow watches this without knowing who to help. Ronan, Damn it, first my technique doesn't work, and now the damn sense either hitting his head with his hand come on, lazy thing, work. Todoroki, don't force us to kill you, you can join us and end this. Bakugo, like hell. I'll kill that damn bitch once and for. Ronan roared upon hearing Bakugo, simply finding his voice annoying. He quickly checked that he still had his weapons compartment on his side, and once he saw it was still there, he prepared and kicked Bakugo down. Ronan, I'd like to say it's a pleasure to see you but I'd be lying. It's more pleasant to kick your butt. Bakugo, getting up furiously you little. The loud blonde couldn't finish. Ronin, at an incredible speed, launched himself, hitting his stomach and with the same momentum, it was just a matter of twisting a bit to kick Todoroki. However, no one warned him about a bullet that hit his leg, courtesy of Momo Yaoyorozu, making him scream in pain. Ronin, damn it, now I'm re. What? I don't feel that the wound is. The freckled one looked down, realizing that not only did the bullet pierce the suit, which shouldn't have happened, the wound still didn't close. It looked as if it were pulsating, playing between closing or remaining open with the embedded bullet. Ronin, annoyed, perfect, this couldn't be better. A kick from Uraka in the face reminds him that it can indeed be better to his frustration. Uraka, you won't leave here alive. Todoroki, activating both sides are you ready? Baku go, with explosions because we're going to kill you. Deku, they're right about one thing, I'm ready. But you know something? The ones who won't leave alive will be you. The freckled one got back into a defensive stance and launched himself at his enemies. Punches were thrown back and forth. Deku used the military fighting style that Guru had taught him, knowing it was a clear advantage against opponents who always relied on their quirks. Ronan was aware of this and grinned, even with his quirk and physical strength diminished, he was already a weapon with his fists. Ronan pulled out a knife and managed to kick Todoroki before cutting Bakugo in the stomach with the same weapon. However, Uraka, using her defense technique, disarmed him. Ronan, gunhead, damn you. Without wasting time on whether it was the right thing to do, he headbutted backward, injuring the brunette's nose. He then grabbed her head and smashed her face with his fist, crushing her nose and making her scream in pain. However, he was tackled by Kirishima, who now seemed to use something stronger than his hardening unbreakable. To Ronan's surprise, he just smiled. Ronan, let's see how much you can take. 
Ryusui Gansai Ken. Kirishima couldn't do anything but try to cover himself. He was hit in such a way that his guard was shattered, and, more brutally, the boy didn't stop. He kept punching until blood stained the ground. Kirishima was near death, but a feeling made him wake up. Ronin stood behind him, took his arms, and put his foot on his back, pulling the redhead's arms. Kirishima, you won't achieve anything with that. Ronin, are you sure? The freckled one used his one for all, and with a single pull, two cracks were heard. The first was the boy's armor breaking, but the second was Kirishima's arms being dislocated. The boy screamed in pain as he fell to the ground. Now they knew, Ronin was furious, and he was going to show them the hard way. Arrow, wait. Ronin, whispering one for all. 100%. The lightning emerged, but not with the intensity he wanted. It wasn't 100%, even less than 50%, which annoyed the green-haired guy even more. Ronin, of course, it had to be. He launched with fury and hit Bakugo in the face. Before the blonde could defend himself, his face was already on the ground. Although he got up quickly and tried to hit the guy, he was easily stopped. Ronin put his hand in a pose simulating a gun and aimed an inch from Bakugo's heart. Todoroki realized what he was going to do. Todoroki, Bakugo, move. But the blonde didn't listen, a grave mistake. With a single movement, a single blow, Bakugo felt excruciating pain, as if all his bones were sinking. Immediately, the boy clung to the blonde's arm, his favorite, the right one, like a cobra. The boy turned him, but more brutally. The sound of his arm breaking completely echoed, wrist, elbow, and shoulder. The blonde screamed in pain, and then Ronan kneed him in the face before letting him fall like a rag. Todoroki would suffer the same fate if it weren't for his ice side that protected him, although not for long. Despite being weak, Ronan's fiery fist managed to pierce his icy wall and hit the guy in the face, leaving a mark. He quickly appeared in front of Ida and hit him in the stomach, taking the air and blood from him then kicked him in the face and landed a blow to the side that shattered the ribs of the blue-haired one. Although it didn't seem like it, Ronan was tired. Even though he could handle everyone, the problem was Yaoyorozu and her weapon. Ronan was fed up with that. Without hesitation, he threw a kunai directly at the girl's hand holding the weapon, making her release it after a small cry of pain. The girl reacted quickly and created a sword. Ronan took out his own, starting an intense fight. Ronan, why are both of you using swords now? Yaoyorozu, I don't know what you mean, but I'll finish you. Ronin, maybe someday. The guy stabbed, making the raven-haired girl momentarily lower her guard. But those seconds gave him the victory. He quickly turned the weapon and hit Yaoyorozu on the forehead with the hilt, destabilizing her. Taking advantage of that, he crouched, delivered a low kick that managed to knock Yaoyorozu down. But before she touched the ground, Ronin managed to grab her by the suit. Ronin, I win. Yaoyorozu, Annoyed I get it, now could you? Ronin, I wasn't talking to you, assistant. The guy threw a black whip that managed to hit Bakugo, who was waiting for the right moment to attack from behind. Ronin, and I'm the coward. With sarcasm. The guy was tired but felt good. It was time to get the answers he wanted, but he felt something brushing against his head, something sharp. An arrow. Arrow, friend or foe. Aiming with his bow. The green-haired one turned but simply removed the arrow with his fingers. Ronin, it's none of your business. Ronin said this before simply leaving the base with a big jump. Arrow watched him go with a serious face. He didn't know who he was, but his tone of voice seemed very familiar, as did those lightning bolts. The guy turned and saw that no one could give him a fight, let alone think of stopping him. So, like the other, he simply left. Baku go, damn. Damn. Damn it. Getting up. Todoroki, we need to prepare everything. We? We're leaving in half an hour. Yaoyorozu, if he wanted to kill us, he could have done it when he wanted. He's not an enemy. Bakugo, what the hell are you talking about, raven-haired? That stupid guy or girl will rat us out, and then that monster will do the same to us as to the damn useless Deku. At that moment, a slap echoed throughout the place, courtesy of Uraka, who, still bleeding, looked at the blonde with fury. Uraka, holding back the bleeding in her nose all of this is your damn fault. So don't call my Izuku that again. Starting to cry. Todoroki, Uraka, calm down. You lost blood with that hit. It's good to see that it's not broken. I think. We'll go to the infirmary now. At least she hasn't had much work so far. The heterochromatic one helped the brunette walk away. After a few seconds, Bakugo shouted with force. 
Bakugo, it's your fault for bringing the pair of threats here in the first place, round face. Although he didn't expect a threat from a certain girl. Yaoyorozu, creating a dagger Bakugo, you were beaten once. Do you have the strength for another fight? The blonde just growled in annoyance and left. Yaoyorozu, going with her friend Todoroki, although Bakugo is right about something, we don't know if. Todoroki, I know. Okay, new plan. We won't leave, we'll follow them. They won't go far tonight. As soon as Uraka recovers, we leave, agreed? Yaoyorozu, yes. The raven-haired one left the place. Todoroki and Uraka were heading to a place in those ruins where a young girl with white hair, red eyes, and a little horn on her forehead emerged. Despite having a sweet and angelic face, she couldn't help but change it to one of total annoyance when she saw who was approaching. On the other side, outside this base, Ronan moved with agility while being pursued by Arrow, who tried to keep up. Arrow, he was just shot, and he can move like this? Ronan, thinking, damn, those shots really hurt, but I have to get to a distant place to remove the bullets. Ronan followed him quickly because from what he saw in the base, he had many questions. Flashback. Ronan tried to stop the masked one, but he ignored him, whispering something that Arrow didn't believe possible. Ronan, one for all. 100%. Ronan, wait a moment. Who the hell are you? Those bolts. Seem very familiar. Too much, to be honest. Arrow looked expectantly at the new masked one in front of him. His suit was that of a killer in green and black, carrying a sword, and apparently, he had more hidden weapons. Flashback end. Arrow, wait, who the heck are you? The green-haired guy asked once again, making the opponent pause. Ronin, that's none of your business, idiot. The freckled masked guy said as he unsheathed his sword. Even if he didn't want to, he had to fight again. He was too weak, but now he knew two things, he wouldn't get any help here, and this wasn't his world. Arrow, you want to fight? Then come here. Arrow pulled out his arrows and aimed straight at the masked man. Shot after shot, to the archer's misfortune, his rival was skilled. Maybe he couldn't use his legs much due to the shots, but he could use his hands. He either deflected or stopped the arrows with his sword. Arrow knew it was dangerous, he had seen him fight a larger group and win. So, he improvised a plan. He tried to keep his distance, but unfortunately, that meant fighting hand to hand. There was a disadvantage, his body still hurt. Every step was hell. But if he wanted to confirm his suspicions, he had to do it. He had to keep pushing himself. Without them noticing, the former Class A kids had arrived, a small squad, Todoroki, Momo, Bakugo, and Uraka, guided by an ally. Flashback. Todoroki, Eri, do you think you can handle it? Eri, it looks better that way. With displeasure. Todoroki, Eri, do you think you can? Eri, honestly. Todoroki, listen, I know you dislike the idea, but we're in a battle. We're all soldiers, and I need her healed. It seems there's a new mystery ahead. The white-haired girl sighed defeated. He was right. Eri, sorry, Uncle Shoto. Come, I'll do what I can. The girl sat the brunette down and, after fixing her nose, used her quirk to heal her completely. Uraka, have you found them yet? Todoroki, I informed Tokoyami. I told him to look for two suspects, one with green hair and another hooded. Waiting for his update. Iri, green hair? Wait, my fa. My dad is. Todoroki, we don't know for sure yet, Iri. It could be a trap. That's why, when we find them, we'll interrogate them. Momo, that's going to be sooner than you expected. You were right, they didn't go far. Tokoyami called, he found them. Todoroki, how are you feeling, Uraka? Uraka, much better, thanks, and... The white-haired girl just moved on and went to the bicolor. Eri, please find him, Uncle Shoto, and take care. Todoroki, that's the mission. Momo, call Bakugo. We'll leave now, and tell Tokoyami to come back, he and Ida will be in charge in our absence. Momo, yes. The loyal military girl went out to find the blonde, not taking long to locate him. Momo, we'll go after them, come out now. Baku go, finally, you say something useful. The kids went out, their weapons loaded and ready. Stealthily, they moved in the darkness in the direction their faithful friend indicated. End of flashback. The kids didn't take long to arrive, but they were surprised to see them both fighting, thinking they were allies. Uraka, still hopeful that the one she saw was her Deku, was shocked to see him being beaten by the masked man. 
Uraka, stop. Now. She shouted this loudly, to everyone's annoyance, as their element of surprise had gone to hell. Now both knew they were there. Ronan was the first to react. Ronan, this is none of your business, stupid. The freckled mask guy took a small dart from one of his pockets and threw it where Uraka and the others were. By instinct, she closed her eyes, expecting the pain, but it never came. Before the dart could hit her, it was stopped by an arrow. Arrow, get away from here, it's dangerous. Everyone noticed, despite the authoritative tone in Arrow's command, they also heard the fatigue in his voice. The guy wouldn't last much longer. Uraka, we won't leave you alone, Deku, no more. Uraka said this with a choked voice, but no one supported her. Everyone kept their eyes fixed on the fight, watching as Arrow remained on the defensive because the hooded figure was delivering extremely powerful blows. Green rays kept coming from him, and each one, despite not being at full strength, was dangerous. The green-haired archer knew it, he needed an opening, but Ronan wasn't making it easy. Ronan, is that all you've got, archer? I was expecting more. It's a shame you're my opponent. Ronan was gaining ground, but that's when Arrow saw it, an opening in the masked man's defense. It appeared every twenty punches Ronan threw. Ronan, you're good, but I'm done with this. Sorry, but I'll finish this now. Ronan kept punching, and Arrow remained on the defensive, waiting for his signal, but it was hell. Ronan, what's the matter? Don't you want to know who I am? Well, better for me. I'll finish you off for good. The freckled man made his right arm burst into flames. Ronan, it won't be 100%, but it'll still hurt. But Arrow smiled because this was the 20th punch. Arrow, maybe you will, but today is not that day. Disturbed. Arrow seized the opening in Ronan's defense, punched the masked man's shoulder, and cursed the useless predator sense. Ronan couldn't prevent it, let alone block it. The shoulder cracked, and the masked man winced. Continuing his technique, Arrow delivered an axe kick to Ronan's chin, lifting him into the air. He took two arrows from his quiver, and they flashed on the sides of the masked man's face. Ronan couldn't foresee it again. The guy was momentarily blinded, and Arrow took advantage of the time to get behind him, choking him with one hand while trying to remove the mask with the other. Ronan wanted to defend himself, avoid at all costs having it taken off, but fatigue, injuries, and lack of air began to take a toll. Ronan started to lose consciousness, but at the last moment, he pushed forward, taking the archer with him, and ended the fight with a punch to the chin, pushing him away. Although he had won, he had also lost, he felt it, his face was exposed. Arrow achieved his goal, taking off Ronan's mask. Amazement was on the faces of everyone present because before them were two Izuku Midoriyas. Arrow, so, my suspicions were correct. Hee hee, I'd like to celebrate, but I'm tired. Arrow couldn't help it, the guy fell to the ground. The fight was so aggressive for him, he finally lost consciousness. Ronan, damn, what should I do now? Looking at everyone's faces wow, seriously, this is awkward. The second green-haired guy said this tiredly, although annoyed, he looked up, glaring at the spectators who still did nothing. Ronan, what the hell are you looking at? The green-haired guy shouted this while ripping Arrow's mask off. Ronan, it's useless now, damn it. Uraka, duh. Deku, is it really you? Ronan, no, now let me go. The guy unfolded his bow, loaded an arrow, and aimed at the survivors. They activated their quirks, fearing the threat. Ronan, if I wanted you dead, you would be. Now move or die for real. The green-haired guy shot, and the arrow passed through the middle of everyone hitting a humanoid bird-like creature in the head. The guy ignited fire and threw it, burning it. Everyone relaxed, except Bakugo, who wanted to jump back into the attack but stopped when he saw Ronan almost falling if it weren't for him putting his knees down, managing to support himself. Ronan, that was close. Damn it, I can't move anymore. Momo, Midoriya, are you? Ronan, half dead? Yes, hungry? Too much, tired? Like you have no idea. Injured? Also, the freckled guy finally fell to the ground but still remained conscious. Ronan, if you value your lives, take him. Pointing at Arrow he needs it more. The freckled guy was about to pass out when he felt himself being lifted. Momo, fortunately, we have Uraka who can take both of them, but we want answers. Ronan, we have a deal then. Thanks. The girl carried the two Izukas floating, but after a while, Ronan asked to be put down, and with Momo's help, he managed to walk until, after a long time, 
he could walk alone. Momo, how do you do that? Ronan, what? Momo, walking after everything you've been through. Ronan, I don't like being carried like a balloon. It creates a void in my stomach, and everything turns upside down. It's disgusting. Besides, I'd prefer to be as far away from her as possible pointing at Uraka. Momo, don't you want her to be with you after everything you've been through together? Ronan, it's because of everything we've been through together that I'd prefer not to be by her side. Momo, afraid of getting hurt again? Ronan, no, I just don't want to hurt her. Also, as you know. Momo, we really need answers. Ronan, just ask the right questions, and maybe you'll find out something. Finally, they reached the base. Arrow was waking up, surprised to be back there. The guy wanted to break free but realized he was floating. Arrow, hey, can you let me go? Ronan, shut up. They saved us, you should be a little more grateful. Arrow, now you want to talk? Ronan, they saved you, and I saved them. We're even. The kids were alone, that's how they were left while the others discussed what to do with them. Arrow, so, what's your story? Abandoned by your mother? Tortured by them? Ronan, being stuck in the same hole doesn't make us friends. Stay away from me, and we'll be fine. Arrow, then tell me, why the new suit? Is the green and friendly rabbit no longer in fashion? Or is your dimension a villain's haven? Ronan, dimension? Arrow, yes, dimension. This isn't your world or ours. It looks similar but isn't. It's another Earth, one of many, I suppose. Ronan, a multiverse. How are you so sure? Arrow, I saw graffiti on the way here. They weren't very motivational, and I think Uraka said she couldn't die so easily. Ronan, she wouldn't be the first to be wrong. Although you're right, the situation is terrible. I thought I had moved forward in time, but the monsters. Things like that weren't around when I left. Plus, I woke up in free fall, I was supposed to be on solid ground. Arrow, you saw them too? Ronan, yes, they're not like the Gnomus in my world. These were abominations, somewhat intelligent. I killed two before running into the cheerful gang. They were really ugly, they said they were brothers. Jiro overheard and told her teammates, who entered abruptly. Jiro, you killed the twins? Ronin, they were twins? Come on, that's a joke. Suddenly, everyone tensed. Jiro and Bakugo glared at Ronin and approached him dangerously. Arrow, are you always this popular? Ronin, almost always. Todoroki, hold it, you too. He didn't know. Ronin, know what? Todoroki, they hate you now. Ronin, great, the feeling is mutual. Jiro, slapping him those idiots were mine. Ronin, lay a hand on me again, and you'll wish they were your rivals instead of me. The freckled guy glared fiercely at Jiro, who looked at him with disdain before turning away. Ronin could see a hint of sadness in the tough girl. He scanned the room, looking at his teammates. Ronin, they killed him, didn't they? Jiro, what? Ronin, they killed Kaminari. Jiro, how did you know? Ronin, the same way I know not everyone is alive. Mineta, Hagakure, Suyu, Sato, Aoyama, Sero, Ojiro, Kaminari. Are missing. Todoroki, be quiet, it's not good to mention the dead. Ronin, sharpening his gaze oh, really? And what if I mention the name Izuku Midoriya? Todoroki immediately became serious, and steam started rising from his fireside. Ronin, he's dead, isn't he? Momo, how did you figure it out? Ronin, blame Uraka and her habit of always saying his name. By the way, where's Bakugo? Todoroki, healing his arm with Ida. You really injured them. Ronin, I could have killed them, but I held back. You should be thankful. Uraka, you cut off Ida's breath. Ronin, let's make this simple. You tell me what happened, who did it, and how to stop it. Todoroki, why? How would someone like you stop it? Ronin, I defeated you, didn't I? Think about it. Todoroki, it was luck. Ronin, thank fate that I didn't have all my strength. Todoroki, you talk too much for Midoriya. Ronin, does that bother you, Shoto? Their gazes clashed, Todoroki annoyed, Deku fed up. They were about to start fighting when. Momo, enough. Listen, you and I made a deal. I helped you, now, you'll answer our questions. Ronin, fine, I guess. What do you want to know? Momo, 
What's your name, who are you? Ronin, that's easy. I'm Izuku Midoriya, a student at UA Class A. Todoroki, we're not in the mood. Ronin, if you don't want to believe me, it's not my fault. Momo, okay. What are you doing here? Ronin, if I knew, I would tell you. Momo, and you? Pointing at Arrow. Arrow, same, Izuku Midoriya UA, I don't know what I'm doing here. Todoroki, one of you is lying. Ronin, or we're both telling the truth, and you're just paranoid. Todoroki, my best friend died because of trust. Do you think? Ronin, so, he did die? Todoroki, damn it. Momo, okay, I guess it's our fault. Listen, you know what he was like. Ronin, yeah, an idealistic fool. Arrow, imbecile dreamer. Momo, a true hero annoyed. Ronin, you have your definition, we have ours. Momo, fine. Sai listen, he was. He was a great person. He gave everything for others, cared about others' happiness more than his own. Ronin, and how do you think we started? Momo, I don't know what happened to you, but he would never behave like this. Ronin, listen, the world is not all rainbows and colorful unicorns. Not everything is love, friendship, and harmony. The world is a dark, chaotic place where you live with the decision that one day you'll leave this world fighting a villain, and it might be that you win, or your death is in vain. Momo, but. Arrow, we chose what to do when we decided to fight for everyone, and that's why we ended up like this. Todoroki, all for one escaped. Ronin, I know, one of those monsters said it. Todoroki, but he wasn't referring to himself. Ronin, what do you mean? Todoroki, it happened so fast that we didn't realize. All for one had escaped from Tartarus. Alarms rang, the league was with him, along with thousands of villains. It was night, classes had already ended. Bakugo immediately wanted to go, saying he could kill all for one alone, but Deku knocked him out with one punch. Flashback. Bakugo, I'm going to kill that bastard. Deku, Kachan, calm down. You know that the only one. Bakugo, screw you, Deku. You're just a damn idiot who kept crying all the time because I. A blow to the back of the head, a blow in the pure style of those Kendo gave, and Bakugo was on the ground unconscious. Everyone watched Deku in amazement, not knowing what was happening. At an impressive speed, the freckled boy went to his room and put on his hero costume. When he returned, no one believed it. Ida, Midoriya, you're not thinking of going out, are you? Deku, if you know what I'm thinking, don't stop me, old friend. Jiro, oh. Okay, calm down, kid. Surely the pro heroes will take care of it. Deku, and so will you, but that will be until the end. It was an honor to be your partner. Please don't hate me. The green-haired boy activated his quirk. Slowly, the lightning increased in intensity. Deku, come on. Come on. You can do it, Izuku, you can. 30. 35. 50. 70. 90. Uraka, no. Please, Deku, I. Deku, 100%. The shout echoed in everyone's ears. His hair stood on end, the lightning now looked terrifying. Deku was ready for the fight, one for all responded to the boy's emotions. Deku, I will save them all. The boy moved at an incredible speed. The thick steel doors that reinforced the students split in two as if they were paper. The lighting went out with that blow, and rightfully so. As the hours passed, Bakugo woke up, and as Deku had said, they were all called to battle. The kids fought with strength, ready to end that nightmare, that same night but away from them, a decisive battle was taking place between good and evil, one that would shape the world. Flashback end. Ronin, all for one killed him. Todoroki, yes. But Deku also killed him. Arrow, wait, what? Todoroki, it was a brutal battle. We couldn't help from our position, and All Might couldn't fight anymore. Both the villains and the gusts of air from their every blow made assistance impossible. But what we do know is that they both gave a final and explosive blow that ended both their lives. Finally, both fell to the ground. Deku defeated the master of evil, but we lost the next symbol of peace. Ronin, thinking, that's my fate, to die at the hands of that monster. At least I'll take him with me. Arrow, but I don't understand. If it was just that and he's already dead, then why is everything like this? There's no explanation. There were more heroes than villains. Momo, yes, maybe, but then he appeared. Ronin, who? Todoroki, we don't know his real name, he introduced himself as Jaeger. 
Ronin, a hunter. We've faced individuals like him before. Todoroki, not like him. He had an army, like Nomus but intelligent, stronger, and evil. They devastated the hero society in a matter of days, maybe? Jiro, Kaminari protected me, and those stupid twin bastards. They took him away from me. Ronin, what kind of quirk does he have? Todoroki, we don't know that either, or at least we're not sure. When he appeared, there was a huge explosion that wiped out everyone, and in the midst of it, he and his army of monsters. The League had no choice but to join him or die, and he proved it by killing three members. Ronin, who? Momo, Spinner, Compress, and Twice. Arrow, he had to show his quirk there. Momo, he didn't personally kill them, he sent a subordinate. He drove them crazy to the point where they begged for death. Then he granted it, a gunshot to the head for each, courtesy of another subordinate. He just watched, smiling, with Shigaraki in the front row. Ronin, so this Jaeger is someone very dangerous. I understand, but I have one question. Todoroki, what? Ronin, why and with whom was Uraka deceiving her Deku? Everyone looked surprised at the freckled one. How could he know that Uraka had deceived him? Immediately, the brunette began to shed tears but tried to appear strong and offended. Uraka, I never. I never. Ronin, I know we did wrong, but we can fix it. He is my Izuku. I'm not stupid, and he stopped the fight. When he saw my face, he showed sadness. Add to that Momo saying, afraid of getting hurt again? How does she know that I hurt if she doesn't even know me? Uraka, I didn't. Aero, I would bet it was with Bakugo. Todoroki, why? Aero, besides being the only one not here, if it were you, you would have defended her, calmed her crying, or said it wasn't your or her intention. Everyone remained silent, both boys were keen observers. Ronin, it seems the same no matter the dimension. Sigh, okay, I've decided. Hey, you, get up. Arrow, me? Ronin, you're the only outsider in this damn place, besides me. I think that guy knows why we're here. We'll get the answer from him, talking or through force, he'll decide. Also, I don't want to be near her. Todoroki, are you crazy? You can't go alone, he'll kill you. Ronin, only if I let him, and I won't go alone. I left something pending in my dimension, I hope they haven't gone. Arrow, alright, I'm ready. Let's go. Ronin, you guys stay here, hide. It suits you well. We'll go end this damn nightmare. Todoroki, if you leave, you won't come back. Ronin, I've never had a fixed home. Arrow, when did you remove the bullets? Ronin, while you were unconscious. Arrow, and your shoulder? Ronin, fine, thanks. Stop asking and let's go, or are you scared? Arrow, no, just making sure you're not a hindrance. Ronin, you lost against me, so you can't have an opinion. Momo, are you really going? Didn't you learn anything from what you heard? If you leave, you'll die. He won't show mercy, especially seeing your faces. Ronin, thanks for reminding me. The green-haired one put on his mask and raised his hood, hiding his face. Arrow, well, I'll write my will. Ronin, cover your eyes with a scarf. It worked for many comic book heroes. Arrow, screw you. Momo, he was serious. If they came, it must be for a reason. Ronin, exactly. That reason owns this world. I'll go, kill him, and get out of here. Arrow, I'll do the same. This isn't my home. Momo, wait. The girl couldn't continue speaking because Ronan leapt with his one for all, taking the other green-haired one. The raven-haired girl looked on with frustration. She clenched her fists as tears ran down her face. She didn't want to live through that again. Is anyone there? It's Deku. He he, I think. I think I survived. Can anyone hear me? Momo, please, don't go. The kids had covered a great distance with that jump, and thanks to one for all not abandoning them, or at least not entirely, they were already too far from the rebel base. Ronin's predator sense began to warn more strongly that they were getting close. Arrow, you didn't have to grab me like I'm a sack of potatoes. Ronin, I wanted to stop you, kid. Arrow, first of all, don't call me that. Ronin, what then? Arrow, I have a name, so don't call me son, kid, or even caucus. Ronin, got it, handsome. Arrow, hasn't anyone told you that you're a bit annoying? Ronin, quite often. Also, I won't ever call you by your name. Forgot it's the same as mine? We're basically the same person. Arrow, well, yeah. Arrow. 
Ronan, what? Arrow, that's my hero name. Or should I say Vigilante, I guess. Ronan, seriously, you named yourself after your weapon? An arrow? Arrow, well, it's better than calling myself. Ronan, go on, say it. I'm sure you don't remember. Arrow, I do remember. Ronan, you won't. Arrow, I'm not stupid. Ronan, I know, but I never told you my name. Arrow, how rude. Ronan, it's Ronan. Happy now? Arrow, I don't have a witty joke for that. Ronan, I know. Now, stay alert. Something tells me we're not so safe now, maybe we'll have company soon. Arrow, as soon as they see us, they'll want to know why I'm alive. Ronan, Yao Yorozu lied to us. Arrow, wouldn't be the first time. Ronan, issues with her? Arrow, personal issues. Ronan, okay, I didn't say anything. Arrow, but why do you think she lied to us? Ronan, Todoroki said the new villain appeared after all for one's death, but Yaoirozu said she'd kill us if she saw us. Our suits had masks, I doubt she'd recognize us as well as other villains. Arrow, don't you think Shigaraki warned her? Ronan, if so, she wouldn't know if it happened because he's supposed to subdue the League after our death and his rise. Arrow, curse it. Are you going to tell me that? Ronan, shut up. Arrow, a while ago, you were the one who didn't want to talk, and now you tell me to shut up? Ronan, something's coming, something big. Arrow, be careful. Arrow, I don't see. The boy was hit by something invisible. Since he couldn't see it, the freckled one flew a few meters, quickly got up, and joined the masked green-haired one, who gave him a piece of cloth. Arrow, what's this? Ronan, a good improvisation. It'll cover your hair and part of your face. We'll be safer this way. Now, pay attention. I hope your traumatic experience helps you survive. Arrow, oh, it definitely will. The green-haired one put on the scarf and then assumed a combat stance, pulling out his bow. Ronan ignited his fists and unsheathed his sword, which lit up the surroundings. Arrow, I want one like that. Ronan, unique dimensional special edition, got it from Stain. Arrow, where did you get it? Looking around. Ronan, Stain gave it to me. The masked guy used his technique again, illuminating his eyes a bit more. He saw a shockwave approaching and made some sword movements. Ronan, Tiger's Roar, Wind Cutter. Uindo Bureka Uindo Burika Tiger Roar. The attack broke the shockwave, but a treacherous blow hit the boy in the back. Ronan, all right, it was a terrible decision to come right now. Arrow, just realizing that now? Ronan, do something useful. Arrow, we're both tired, didn't get enough rest, and still dared to come. Both were upset, Ronan gripping his sword tightly and Arrow holding his bow. They were ready to fight until they got what they wanted. After a while, they managed to defeat their opponents, one with a quirk that emitted energy waves and another that blended with the environment. They caused some trouble, but the boys could deal with them permanently. However, fatigue started to take its toll again, and the two began to breathe heavily. Ronan, damn, that was really. Arrow, regretting it now, huh? Ronan, there's only one way to get back home, and you know it. Arrow, but we should have waited. Ronan, I know, I know, but we're already here. It's time to get answers. Question mark, answers, you say? Arrow, oh, crap. Ronan, and it seems the main event has arrived. Hello, Jaeger monster. Jaeger, I see I'm known. Ronan, a genocidal dictator doesn't go unnoticed by anyone, whether in this world or others. Jaeger, others? Ronan, well, apparently, you don't know much. We have that advantage. Okay, I don't like saying this, but it's time to put this dog to sleep. Jaeger, and what are you waiting for? Come. The freckled one unsheathed his sword and launched at full speed against the foe, but he evaded his attack cleanly and, using his own momentum, struck him in the face, putting him on the ground. Jaeger, easy. Arrow, not so fast, buddy. The freckled one shot two arrows with precision. The target? The opponent's face. However, he took them without a problem, inches from his face, hitting them both. Jaeger, really, kid? I'm the greatest villain, and you attack me with sticks? Ronan, still on the ground, used his black whips, which wrapped around Jaeger's leg and threw him to the side. Ronan, I get the feeling he's not fighting seriously. Arrow, he stopped two arrows, that's not good. Ronan, I could do that too. 
It's a coincidence. It's time to get serious. Arrow, wait. Ronan, wait for nothing. If you don't want to, fine, just don't get in my way. The green-haired one lunged into the fight, lit his fists, and roared with strength. Ronin, whirlwind iron slashing fist, Senpu Tetsu's and Ken. Ronin struck with force, feeling as if his fingers were breaking. Upon closer inspection, he saw every point he hit turned a metallic gray. In that moment of distraction, Jaeger delivered a powerful blow to Ronin's side. The green-haired one felt his ribs break and cave in, then received hits to the head and face that dislocated Ronin's jaw, throwing him far away. Arrow, don't think you're going to win. The masked green-haired one tried to hit the monster, but he couldn't. It was as if Jaeger could read his movements. The freckled one took out a knife and tried to stab him, but his opponent was faster, grabbing it and breaking his arm, making him stab himself. Jaeger, you guys are so easy to read, always so impetuous, so predictable. Ronin, you're forgetting about me, idiot. The freckled one approached and managed to land a punch on Jaeger's jaw. Taking advantage of that, Arrow hit the foe in the torso and then in the neck. They both stood in front of him, ready to strike, but the enemy was quicker. He redirected Ronin's attack, his fiery fist, and made it hit Arrow. Jaeger took the arrow that the archer shot the first time and plunged it into Ronin's knee, then stood up and struck them both. Arrow, watch where you aim your attacks. Ronin, your damn arrow. Jaeger, ha ha ha, for a moment, I thought I might lose, but you two are so disconnected from each other that you're slow, and I'm stronger. Ronin, go to hell. A bare-knuckle fight ensued. The opponent took several blows, as did Ronin. He couldn't avoid all of them. Ronin, whirlwind flowing roaring fist, Senpu Ryusui Goki Kuritsu Ken. The villain was pushed back, receiving a kick from arrow and an exploding arrow. Ronin, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Arrow, firing three arrows. Ronin, combined secret technique, fang cross dragon killing fist, Rinke Ogi, Koga Ryu Satsu Ken. The attacks hit the target, filling everything with smoke. They were sure, they had killed him without a doubt. Ronin, finally, you're useful, archer. Arrow, well, that was disappointing. Jaeger, really? From the smoke emerged, imposing but obviously not unscathed. Cuts and damages were visible, but he still stood there, giving chills to both of them. Jaeger, I must congratulate you, you're the first to experience my power. Ronin, come here, damn murderer, or better yet adjusting his jaw I'll come to you. The green-haired one leapt, and a more brutal fight began. The punches were loaded with force. Ronin wrapped his fists with fire and charged with his one for all. But at a certain point in the fight, Jaeger took the boy's fist with just one hand. Jaeger, my turn. The beating Ronin received was brutal. It was as if every blow the opponent delivered was a rocket. He hit too hard, but an arrow managed to save him, if only for a few seconds. Ronin drew his sword, ready to attack, but his enemy snatched it away and with a single cut made the freckled one lose an eye. Blood flowed, the boy screamed, but without showing mercy, the hunter hit him in the head. Then, he hit him again in the ribs, the sound of them crunching. A punch to the chest that crushed the sternum, and finally, he lifted him up, back first. Arrow, no. Loading another arrow. Too late, the monster brought Ronan down, hitting his back against his knee, breaking his spine. The green-haired one screamed in immense pain, and Jaeger simply tossed him aside, bored. Jaeger, nice sword, kid, although not my style. Arrow, damn it. The archer managed to land a punch to the face and another to the legs, but his opponent was strong. He hit him in the chest. With one arm already broken, it was challenging for Arrow to fight. Jaeger struck him in the neck, right in the trachea, cutting off his breath, and then in the ears, disorienting him. The boy crouched with a gesture caused by pain, but the villain didn't stop. With a hammer-like blow to the back, he defeated him. Both were on the ground. Jaeger, is this the best the resistance had? They're strong, but just stupid kids. Okay, I'll let you live so they know I'm merciful. Tell those fools I'll find them, and they won't escape me. Arrow breathed a sigh of relief until he remembered he only spoke for one. The villain raised Ronan's sword, aimed it at Arrow's chest, and with a bit of force, drove it in, making the freckled kid scream. Jaeger, he was useless. With those wounds, moving was almost impossible, and with a broken spine, there was no choice. The villain left, leaving the two boys alone. Arrow, no, no, damn it. Son of a bitch. Why? Why did you kill him? Ronan, I'm not dead, idiot. 
Arrow, what the hell? Ronin, the bastard almost got my heart. Luckily, I managed to move. This will really hurt. The freckled one took his sword and, using his one for all with enough force not to break it, pulled it out in one go, though it meant great pain for the boy. Blood dripped, and he gritted his teeth. Ronin, I swear I'll kill that ape. Arrow, shouldn't you be? Well, you know. Dead? Ronin, they tried once, and look at me. Sometimes I think I'm lucky, or maybe death hates me. Arrow, is it your quirk? Ronin, no, my quirk is one for all, though I also have the natural one. Arrow, natural? Ronin, the quirk we should inherit from our parents, pyrokinesis. The green-haired one was surprised. Is this what the combined quirk of his parents look like? Arrow, it looks cool. Ronin, although I haven't mastered it yet. On the other hand, what you see here, pointing to his wounds, which were slowly closing, is a technique I learned during my time in Tartarus. Arrow, you were in Tartarus? Ronin, yes, it was a great experience. I was close to death several times. Fortunately, I acquired this. It heals any wound, well, almost any, but things like these are easy. The price to pay is the pain of feeling them close. The freckled one gritted his teeth more while watching his body tense. Veins in his body showed, and Ronin screamed in pain a few times. Arrow saw the cuts close, heard the spine heal. Soon, Ronin was standing, though the cut and the damage to his eye were still visible. The wound had not closed, but at least it had stopped bleeding. Arrow, I thought you could heal everything? Ronin, an eye is more difficult. It's a system of nerves and such. I guess it'll be ready in a few hours. I hope. Arrow, is this the first time you've been hurt like this? Ronin, the first time I lost an eye. Are we waiting for a I told you so when we return to them, right? Arrow, if we can. That bastard left us here because he thought I would die, and with a broken arm, I won't be able to defend myself for long. We might die here, basically. Ronin, I wouldn't say that. Momo tried to prevent us from coming. I heard the sound her creation makes and saw she had this, showing a device. I discreetly took it. It's a tracker. I assume she wanted to stick it on our clothes like she did with the Nomu at the camp. Just do this, and the signal will be sent. Ronin pressed a button, and the signal started ringing. Arrow, I hope they don't take too long. Arrow took out an arrow and broke the tip, creating a spark that ignited it. Ronin also took one and threw it where the other was, using his pyrokinesis to enhance the flame. Arrow, if you have a bow, why didn't you use it earlier? Ronin, it broke during the fight. The freckled one unfolded his bow, showing it broken with the string snapped. Ronin, and it's supposed to be made of steel or something. Arrow, well, that's a problem. Ronin, he used his quirk against us. That's why he said we should feel honored. He has something like a sixth sense, but he can see movements, like a glimpse into the future. Arrow, how are you so sure? Ronin, no one knows my fighting style. How do you think I beat you in them? Arrow, you had to say it again. But you're right, I don't know that. In my world, there's nothing like it. Ronin, when you can, try training with the monster guru. He trained me. Arrow, you were trained by villains? Ronin, I just told you I was in Tartarus. Arrow, I'll look into it. I hope it's not too difficult. But tell me, will you apologize? Ronin, why? You were the one who got in my way. Arrow, that guy was mine, my ticket back home. Ronin, he's mine too, don't forget that. Arrow, of all the Isaacus I could have encountered in the multiverse. Ronin, tough luck. It's either me or. Honestly, I don't have anything better to say. Lying on the ground, staring at the stars, defeated by their own stupidity, both fell silent as they thought. Arrow, looking at the sky have you ever looked at the stars? Ronin, where I come from, I couldn't. Arrow, will you tell me your story? Playfully. Ronin, screw off and don't bother. Arrow, sigh where I come from, my friends thought they killed me, set a trap, made it look like an accident, but. Ronin, I told you not to bother. The green-haired one got annoyed at that comment, stood up, and was about to leave if the pain hadn't stopped him. Arrow, what did I say wrong now? Ronin, stop bothering me, okay? I don't want to know your story, and you don't want to know mine. We're not friends, idiot. All we need is a plan to get back to our dimension. Arrow, are you in such a hurry to go back? Is someone waiting for you? Mockingly. Ronin, angrily sighing you wouldn't understand, friend. Arrow, dude, I spent five years in purgatory. Believe me, 
there's nothing that can scare me. Ronan, angrily I was framed for something I didn't do. They all beat me, took advantage of my unconsciousness, sent me to the lowest floor of Tartarus, chained me, and tortured me. Happy now? Arrow, man, that's rough. Although you conveniently left out. Ronan, my ex cheated on me with Ida. Arrow, let me guess, your ex was Uraka. Ronan, genius. Sarcastically. Arrow, you got tense hearing the story of this world's Izuku and his death. Do you think I didn't notice? Ronin, the Izuku here and I are cursed. Arrow, if there really is a multiverse, trust me, they shouldn't be the only ones. Ronin, I've told you the summarized version of my story. Arrow, yeah, I know. Sigh I was betrayed, same story as yours. Well, almost. I was on an island, and I came back. I found out a few things when I talked to them again. Ronin, it's. Ha ha ha. Wait, pfft. Ronin started laughing uncontrollably, annoying the green-haired arrow guy. Arrow, what the hell are you laughing about, idiot? Ronin, seriously? Let me get this straight. They killed you, sent you to an island, and when you came back, you forgave those bastards. You're really stupid, ha ha ha. Arrow, just because I forgave them doesn't mean they're my friends. Arrow said this while glancing at Ronin, who was having fun playing with his bow. Ronin, tell me something other than your sad story. Arrow, are you always this bitter? Ronin, you fight with this thing? Arrow, yes, remember? I took off your mask with this bow. Ronin, could you make kebabs with your arrows? Ronin asked this while pulling one out and examining it. Arrow did his best not to lose it and hit the freckled guy. Arrow, leave that, it's not a toy. The guy got annoyed and quickly snatched the bow from Ronin to return to his seat. Ronin, you're so boring, Arrow. Arrow, at least now you call me that. Also, haven't they told you that you're so annoying? Arrow said this, thinking it would shut Ronin up, but. Ronin, I haven't given them the chance. Besides, you don't know anything. I was in hell for almost a year and a half, I had to become strong. Arrow, yes, and I spent five years in purgatory, became someone else. We're not that different, Ronin. Ronin, we're both monsters created under different conditions. Arrow, I guess. Momo is taking too long, don't you think? Ronin, we're isolated from any situation that doesn't want to kill us. Also, remember what Todoroki said, they might not even come. Arrow, true. Ronin, tell me the truth, why do you hate her? Arrow, do you know what it's like to love someone so deeply that you'd do anything for her? Ronin, yes, I wish I could say no, but yes. Arrow, I felt that way for the Momo of my dimension. Ronin, wait, wait, wait. So, you and her. Arrow, believe it or not, I wasn't like the Izuku here or you. I considered Uraka just a great friend, nothing more. Momo was the one I believed was the love of my life. What a love. Ronin, she. Arrow, the party on her yacht was a facade. She organized everything and hit it just the same. I got a blast from Bakugo in the face for her. Because of her damn fault, I lost my memory. Ronin, oh. Hey, you should calm down, man. But Arrow didn't listen. On the contrary, he got more upset and stood up abruptly. Arrow, and I. I was going to propose to her, can you believe it? I was so stupid, thinking she and I would be happy forever. Ah, damn it, I hate Momo Yaoyorozu. The freckled one shouted this as he collapsed onto the ground. Within seconds, he heard himself starting to sob. Arrow, I was willing to give my life for her. Ronan looked at him for a few minutes, unsure of what he would do next. But he took a deep breath, it would be satisfying to have someone else to rely on. Ronan, I started going out with Uraka just before the mission against Chisaki. Arrow, the. The rescue of Eri? Ronan, yes, I thought I wouldn't survive. Naitai treated Chisaki like an enemy too powerful. I thought telling her how I felt was the right thing to do, but I was wrong, or well. At first, she said she felt the same. We started going out, my mom loved her, ha ha, said I wouldn't find anyone like her. The day of my arrest, I caught her kissing Ida, and saying she couldn't continue pretending to love me. Arrow looked at his companion, knowing life had been tough on both of them. Arrow, and about your arrest. Ronin, the villain sent evidence. The missing security camera footage. Arrow, the USJ incident? Ronin, I hacked into the computer and stole the information. Arrow, Bakugo's kidnapping? Ronin, I could have saved him, but I chose not to. Arrow, Stain? Ronin, 
I defeated him so he wouldn't interfere with the league. Arrow, they thought of everything. Ronan, yes. In prison, they tortured me. Dobby would heat and burn my shackles until my flesh charred. Toga cut me all over my body, and Shigaraki made some lines using his disintegration. I begged for death. Arrow, why didn't you use one for all? Ronin, All Might took it away from me. Arrow, what did I just see then? Ronin, one for all must be passed willingly, he forced me to make the decision. When I learned this, I trained, I was trained, by Stain, Guru, and, though I don't like it. Muscular too. Arrow, you let that murderer. Ronin, where do you think I got that brutality and fighting from? Arrow, true, but tell me, how did mom take it? Or well, your mom. It must be difficult, ha ha. Ronin, how did she take it? I don't know. She was killed by one of Shigaraki's nomu. Arrow looked up in shock. Had Shigaraki really dared to go that far? Ronin, he launched an invasion everywhere. She was in Musatafu or maybe in Hasu or Dagoba. Honestly, I don't remember. I was away, helping in the fight. She had a date with All Might, but he was busy fooling around with Midnight, never made it. They broke her neck and killed everyone. Arrow, how did? Ronin, he made me watch the video. Arrow, so All Might and she were. Ronin, yes. Arrow, but he cheated on her with Midnight. Now I understand. Ronin, and what about your dimension? Arrow, well, she. She's still alive and also has a relationship with All Might, though now I think I'll do a little investigation. The freckled one lowered his head in helplessness. Even though he was in purgatory, he managed to protect his mother. Why couldn't Ronin? Arrow, hey, I know what you're thinking. It wasn't your fault. That bastard planned everything very well, to be honest. But now you can get revenge. Ronin, and I will, I'll come up with something for sure. Wait. Arrow, what? Ronin, something is coming. Arrow, getting up are you sure? Ronin, completely. How's your arm? Arrow, perfect, it's already healed. How about your eye? Ronin, all my wounds are healed except for that one. I told you, it will take longer. Arrow, take this. The freckled one took off the mask they had made for him and gave it to Ronin. Arrow, it will protect your wound. Ronin, thanks. Putting it on. The green-haired one took out his sword, which began to glow. Arrow, he took it and didn't do this, but he did with you. Why? Ronin, I don't know, that's how it came. Arrow, and it's your weapon. The freckled guy unleashed his unique green rays, and his fists began to burn before igniting into an orange flame. It hurt to use his quirks after the beating they had just endured, but he knew it would be worth it if they could win. However, a few seconds later, he turned everything off and stowed his weapon again. Arrow, what's wrong? Ronin, I can sense when something is approaching, it alerts me. In this world, it's malfunctioning, but now I don't feel it. I hear it. Arrow, me too. It's an engine. After a few minutes, a small floating motorcycle appeared, accommodating four people. The vehicle descended, and they could see its occupants. Momo, I'm glad to see you're still alive. Ronin, in my world, they want me dead. If I survive them, then these won't be a problem. Momo, get on. Melissa, can you make room? Arrow, me. Melissa? The blonde looked up, locking eyes with Arrow. The green-haired boy approached the inventor slowly as she began to cry. Finally, he rested his head on her chest. Arrow, I'm sorry. I wasn't strong. I'm really sorry. Melissa, I. Izuku? Momo already told me what's happening. Can you control yourself? This is a bit awkward. The green-haired boy complied and just got on behind her. Momo, hey. Are you okay? Looking at Arrow. The boy didn't answer, a cold gaze was the response Momo received. Ronin, get on, and let's go. If he comes back, I don't want to be here. Momo, did you face him? Ronin, can't you see this? Pointing to his covered eye. The girl simply started the vehicle, but Ronin noticed how it left a mark on the ground. Ronin, if they did this to avoid leaving a trail, they're wrong. Even an aerial vehicle leaves a trace on the ground. Can you go higher? Momo, yes ascending maximum height. What's your plan? Ronin, charging is one for all you're about to see. The boy gathered strength and although it hurt, he delivered a powerful blow to the ground. It didn't have much force, but it raised a large dust cloud and left a slight crater, achieving its goal of losing their trail. However, it also gave a speed boost to the vehicle. Momo, you should have held back a bit. 
Ronan, and that's not all my strength. Now, don't complain and get us out of here as fast as possible. Momo, I think we'll go to the doctor when we arrive. She might want to see you. Ronan, we're fine, thanks. The eye will heal in a few hours. Arrow again didn't respond. Ronan saw it was a deep hatred, and Melissa was the only person who had that effect on him. Ronan, thinking, five years on an island not knowing who you are. If someone helped him, it wasn't abandoned. It must be tough surviving like that unless someone helps you. The journey was long, but with the help of Ronan's one for all, they managed to arrive relatively quickly. Just before landing, Momo took out a device and turned it on. Momo, we're getting close. We found them. Upon landing, they saw Uraka, Ida, Todoroki, Bakugo, Kirishima, Mina, Jiro, and Tokoyami waiting for them. Todoroki, are they alive? Momo, judge for yourself. Both boys got off, appearing somewhat weak. Uraka was shocked to see Ronin's eye patch and tried to approach, but he just walked past her. Bakugo, did they finally knock down your ego? Ronin, am I you? Also, how's your arm? Todoroki, I told you that if you went, you wouldn't come back. Ronin, and here I am, right? Besides, it worked, it was educational. Todoroki, do you bring useful information? Ronin, we know his quirk. Bakugo, I don't believe you. We've been trying to figure everything out for so long, just like you. Arrow, it's a prediction and counterattack. Todoroki, really? Ronin, why would I lie? He can see what attack will make, his body creates a defense that manages to neutralize the blows. When the attack ends, there's a gap in the defense. He seizes it and delivers a blow with more than his usual strength. Kirishima, are you sure about that? Ronin, I didn't lose my eye for nothing. Arrow, can we go through? Honestly, I'm hungry, and a coffee would be great right now. Ronin, make it too. Todoroki, I told you, if you go, you won't come back. Momo, he managed to kill the twins and some monsters like them. Besides, he discovered his quirk, something we didn't do. As I see it, you've earned a drink, I'll treat. Ronin, thanks, I guess. Arrow, just don't get in the way. The boy passed and bumped shoulders with the raven-haired girl, who lowered her head. Ronin just took her shoulder. Ronin, it's not personal, at least not dimensionally. It's strange to say that word. Momo, I think it is. By the way, even if you don't want to go to the doctor, she wants to see you. Ronin, she? If it's Uraka, believe me, you really want to stay away. Momo, no, it's someone else, although I don't know how she'll take it. The boy followed the raven-haired girl to the small tent where Eri came out. Seeing Deku, the girl felt her eyes fill with tears, reverting to her childish demeanor. She ran into Ronin's arms. Eri, daddy. Ronin, e. Eri? You. You're so. Really, you're so big. Eri, you don't have to pretend, I know you're not him. Ronin, Momo told you, right? Eri, she and Aunt Melissa. I didn't understand much of what Melissa said, but Momo simplified it as alternate dimensions, like in comics, he he. Ronin, well, that's a very short way to summarize everything. Eri, you're not going to leave? Ronin, forgive me, little one, but I'll have to. There's a world that needs me. Eri, I lost my father and grandmother. I don't know what I have now. Ronin, I'll free this world from Jaeger, and then you can choose, okay? The girl started to cry, but Ronin realized something. Ronin, wait, you said about the grandmother. Eri, I lost her. I'm sorry. Momo, Izuku, what's happening? Ronin, what happened to Inko Midoriya? Momo, she passed away. We buried her alongside Deku. At that moment, Arrow was entering the infirmary and overheard what Momo said. He knew that Ronin would be. Ronin, choking Yaoi Rozu with his black whips and lifting her up where is she? Momo, is. Izuku. California. Calm down. Ronin, either you tell me where she is, or I swear to God I'll break your neck. Eri, duh. Daddy? Ronin, don't look at this, little one. Arrow, calm down, Ronin. Ronin, she's dead, Arrow. She's also dead, and these idiots did nothing to prevent it. Arrow, damn it, Yaoyorozu, what did you do? Ronin, don't make me shoot you drawing his bow. Ronin, you don't understand. You still have your mother. You don't know what it's like to lose her. I couldn't save her here. 
Damn it, why am I so weak? Yao Yorozu managed to create a sedative, but before she could inject it, Deku injected her, stealing it. The girl fell asleep. Ronin, it doesn't matter in which damn dimension I am, they're all bastards. The green-haired boy was about to leave. Eerie, she's a few meters in front of the base, so they'll always protect us. He complied and left. Upon exiting, he found the cross and knelt. Ronin, mom. I'm sorry. I couldn't protect you. I know I'm not the Izuku you know, but you were the only thing left in my world. Please forgive me. Arrow, it wasn't your fault, buddy. Ronin, you don't know. Arrow, you're right, maybe I don't. But if we're here, just you and me, it's for a reason. Maybe you couldn't save her, but you can save everyone else. You said so, right? You'll give a future where Eerie can decide for herself who she'll be. I don't know what happened in your world, but I know you can still be a hero. Ronin, a hero doesn't kill, Arrow. And today, I stained my hands with blood. Arrow, so did I, but we both know that sometimes to do the right thing, you have to break the rules. Ronin looked at his companion for a few seconds. His mother's death at the hands of Shigaraki had motivated him not to give up again. He wouldn't disrespect this world's Izuku's mother by giving up. The boy simply stood up. Ronin, sorry, mom. Arrow, what did you do? Ronin, it's not about what I did. Arrow, then what? Ronin, it's about what I will do. The freckled guy put on his usual expression, serious and annoyed. He adjusted his suit and went back into the base. Arrow, wait, what are you going to do? Ronin, Todoroki Shoto. Todoroki, what do you want? I won't serve you that coffee, the water is hot. Ronin, I'm leaving this place. Todoroki, and where exactly are you going? Ronin, where else, to kill the bastard who brought me here? Arrow, I'm coming with you. Ronin, I fought you once, and we lost. This time, I'm going alone. I have an arrow with that bastard's name on it. Yao Yorozu was engrossed in her coffee and the one she had promised to the freckled guy, but as soon as she heard his plan, she approached him, knocking over some cups. Yao Yorozu, wait, you can't just leave like that. You're not fully recovered yet. Ronin, and so what? I know where she is, I know how to get in. Besides, I don't think he'd like to see a ghost. This time, he'll take me seriously, one way or another. Momo, but what if they kill you? Ronin, according to the movies, I go back to my dimension. Melissa, actually, entering the room. It doesn't work like that. Ronin, what do you mean? Melissa, you and the other Izuku entered this dimension abruptly, uninvited. Perhaps you don't know, but there's a theory called chrono displacement theory. By abruptly leaving a timeline, you anchor yourself to your time, dragging it with you. Time stays in the same position, missing a piece. Ronin, I. Melissa, exactly. But if you die, your time becomes unanchored, loses its connection with you. And guess what? It resumes its course, but if you're not there, everyone considers you dead. Ronin, or they still think I'm a traitor. Momo, traitor? Baku go, so, your world is a world of villains igniting his fiery side that's why you're in such a hurry to see it, right? You don't plan to defeat him, you plan to join him. The bicolor ignited his flames, but they directed towards Izuku, who generated a small fireball with them. Ronin, listen, little Shoto, you think you're a leader? Well, you're not my leader. You don't command me. If you want to kill me, go ahead, let's see who helps you afterward. But remember this, once I defeat you, and if I want to, I'll do it again. Eerie, but your eye. Ronin, it will recover, it's already healing. Arrow, as much as I dislike the idea of fighting them, I have to say it. With problems, we manage to survive. It's better to rest, make a good plan, and finish it. Ronin, I don't believe what you're saying. Arrow, me neither, but I think it's necessary. Sometimes, the strength of victory isn't in how much strength you have but in how much strength you have with your allies. Ronin, damn it. I guess you have a point. Fine, let's make a plan and finish that monster. Being here reminds me of home. Arrow, Tartarus is your home? Ronin, I don't have many places to go in my dimension. Todoroki, you were in Tartarus? Ronin, it wasn't a big deal. Bakugo, it's a reason to distrust you. Ronin, look, son of a kamikaze, do you want to trust me? Fine, if you don't, then I don't care. In my dimension, there's a bastard just like you whom I want to shoot an arrow through. Want me to start practicing my aim on you? Bakugo, 
Come on, damn killer, dare to. The blonde stood up abruptly, ready to throw punches, but Todoroki froze his feet. Baku go, what are you doing, damn it. Todoroki, I'm protecting the safety of the squad. Don't do anything foolish. Keep calm and sit down, or I'll put you to sleep myself. Bakugo just gritted his teeth but complied. Yaoyorozu, on the other hand, approached Ronan with another cup. Yaoyorozu, it's still hot. Sorry, I dropped the other one when I heard your plan. Ronan, it's okay. Thanks, Momo. The green-haired guy took the cup with his left hand, catching Arrow's attention. He wondered how he could grab the cup without burning his hand. Arrow was about to ask when a certain chestnut-haired girl approached slowly. Arrow only regretted this, he wanted to stop it, but it was too late. Uraka, Izuku. I know you're not from here, but I'm sorry, and I want to redeem myself. Do you think you and I could? Approaching Ronin. The green-haired guy pulled out a knife from one of his holsters and pointed it at the chestnut-haired girl. Ronin, if you want to stay alive in this fight, I suggest you stay far away from me. Uraka, I know you're not my Izuku, but understand that I didn't mean to. Ronin, finish that sentence, and by God, you'll wish I weren't the Izuku who arrived here. Bakugo, you piece of. Ronin, both of you are damn idiots. The Izuku from this dimension was a saint, but I'm not. Tell me the truth. Do you really think you deserve forgiveness? He went out of his way for you, and how did you repay him? Looking at Uraka by screwing this damn Muslim every chance you got like a horny bitch in heat. That's what you did, and if you want to hit me, go ahead. But if you do, you'll prove me right more easily. Uraka held back her tears, while Bakugo just gritted his teeth. Ronin, you give me enough reasons to kill you. Believe me, I wouldn't mind, I've done it before. The idiot with the arrows and I could handle that monster without you. Uraka, Izuku, I. Ronin, I'm not your Izuku. And listen well, yours is rotting underground, so stay the hell away from me. The boy stood up agitatedly and left, climbing onto the roof. Everyone was surprised by how he spoke. Uraka was shedding tears, while Bakugo only clenched his fists, showing a guilty expression. After a while, Yaoyorozu was the only one who stood up. Momo, since no one cares, I think I'll go check on him. The girl walked towards the stairs. Arrow, maybe you should take a straight jacket. Momo went upstairs, ignoring the comment and finding the green-haired guy in a meditation pose. Momo, am I interrupting? Ronin, a little, to be honest. Momo, why are you like this? Ronin, maybe you don't know, but. Momo, we're not them. Here, Izuku was loved by everyone. Ronin, except for two people. Momo, well, yes, but. Ronin, listen, you're very kind to come here to appeal to my human side, but I'm not your Izuku. I was betrayed and beaten by my friends, so if you don't mind, leave me alone. I just want to focus on the upcoming fight. Momo, in your world. Ronin, I had a relationship with Uraka until I found out she was cheating on me with Ida. That same day, everyone beat me up, and they threw me into Tartarus. So, understand, I'm not comfortable with all of you. I don't care about your war, I just want to get out of here. Goodbye and farewell, back to my reality. Yaoyorozu, I didn't know. Ronin, obviously, I never told you. Now leave me alone. But the girl didn't move. She stood there, thinking about what to do until she took a deep breath and prepared to speak. Momo, and how am I in your world? Ronin, what did I tell you? Momo, you said not to appeal to your human side, and since I've seen that you don't have one, I want to know more about me and your reality. Ronin, if that's what it takes for you to leave. Fine, she's the same as you. Now get out. The guy's voice was loud and authoritative, but the raven-haired girl didn't move. Momo, she can't be the same as me. Ronin, same chest, same face, same height. Basically, you're the same. Momo, she hasn't experienced what I have. Ronin, Sai you're too annoying. Fine, she's strong, very intelligent, can solve problems very easily, and her quirk is powerful. Momo, now I feel flattered. Ronin, but she's foolish, she's weak. Momo, okay, I didn't like that. Ronin, she has an inferiority complex that makes her go backward instead of forward as she should. She's intelligent but doubts her actions. I guess you're superior to her in that. Momo, why? Ronin, you don't doubt. You'd be able to kill if necessary to save someone. 
you don't ask when making a decision, you just take it and that's it. You create your objects incredibly fast. Momo, sometimes, I wish I wasn't like this. I'd like to be the same as the Momo from your dimension or the one from a few years ago. Just worry about school and not about being willing to kill, sleep knowing I'll pass the academy exam, and not think I could die. Ronan, but in the end, thanks to that, you're still alive. At least, that's what I want to believe. I went through the same, remember? Momo, well, a bit different, he he. Ronan, yeah, maybe, he he. The green-haired one chuckled a bit under his breath, but it was noticed by the raven-haired girl. Momo, so, that's how it is. Ronan, what? Momo, your laugh, ha ha. Since you arrived, I never saw you laugh. I thought you were even incapable of it. Ronan, I'm not a robot, Momo, though sometimes I wish I were. It would save me a lot of things. Momo, and you'd miss out on many more, many feelings. Ronan, I know where you're going, and the answer is no. They killed me, Momo. I can't just go back and everything be fine. Honestly, I don't even know what I am anymore. I just want them to leave me alone. Momo, sometimes what we think we want isn't what we really want, Izuku. The green-haired one looked up at the dark field adorned with stars. Ronin, have you ever seen them? Momo, what? Ronin, the stars. Have you ever seen them? Momo, never. We can't afford that luxury here. Ronin, I couldn't either in my world, but look, there are millions and millions of them, although we only see the same little dots. There are times when I wish I could just be one of those that no one sees. Momo, but it's always there, in one way or another. You'll always be a hero. Ronin, one that won't be very loved, he he. Momo, at least, you'll do what's right, as you always have, and that's good. The girl held Ronin's hand for a few seconds and then quickly withdrew it, smiling at the boy who responded with a faint smile. Momo, although, I repeat, you should trust us a little. You'll see, once you give the green light, you'll know we just want to do the right thing. Ronin, did you seriously make a vision joke after seeing my condition? Seriously, you're bad, he he. Momo, I had to make you laugh somehow. Both shared a small laugh until they were interrupted. Kirishima, um, hey, dinner's ready. We're also discussing who will take the guard duty tonight. Ronin, I'll take the shift up here. Kirishima, are you sure? It's going to be a long night. Ronin, why? Kirishima, I guess you're asleep, right? You do know what sleep is, huh? In your dimension, People do sleep, don't they? Momo, come on, Kirishima. Kirishima, ha ha, just messing with Izuku. But all right, let's go eat. Dinner passed without surprises for anyone, and it was time to go to bed. Everyone bid farewell to Aero and Ronin, except Bakugo and Uraka. Todoroki, hey, you two, we'll turn off the lights. No one goes out, we don't want surprises, okay? Aero, fine by me. I've got it covered here. Ronin, whatever, I'll go up and settle in. Melissa, oh, by the way, um. Ronin? Ronin, what's up? Arrow, I gave her your bow. That thing was broken, and I thought if anyone could fix it, it was her. Melissa, take it. As far as I know, your bow unfolded like this, so this one should work for you. I also made you some arrows. Ronin, thanks, Blondie. What do you think? I think I'll try it out today. Todoroki, no, save that for tomorrow. For today's fight, you'll use a weapon. It's a modified rifle, it doesn't make noise but has great power. Ronin, alright, then. Well, I'll go up now. The boy went up, hoping to rest a bit, and he almost succeeded. The lights went out, and soon everything was dark and silent, except for the faint noises made by each of the students from the now extinct Class A and the survivors they had saved. But then he heard it, almost like a whisper, a gentle song. The boy descended slowly, listening on all sides, trying to find the source. He encountered Arrow, who let him proceed. He quickly identified and quietly made his way to where the song was coming from, surprised to find Momo by candlelight, singing the song. Insert Jenny of Old Stones by Florence and the Machine Momo, up in the grand halls where kings once ruled. Jenny would dance with her memories. The ones she had lost and the ones she had found. And those who had loved her the most. The freckled person decided not to interrupt the girl's inspiration. She started her song again, leaning against the wall. Arrow arrived and handed her a bottle. Arrow, 
It's moments like these that made me fall in love with her. I better go, and you take over your spot. Ronan, I'm coming up now. The green-haired archer stepped away, leaving Ronan alone, who continued listening. Momo, those who had been away for a very long time. She couldn't recall their names. They twirled her around on the wet, old stones. Spinning away all her sorrow and pain. And she never wanted to go, never wanted to go. Never wanted to go, never wanted to go. Ronan watched her attentively, knowing that she wasn't the Momo from his dimension. However, even the Momo from his dimension hadn't turned her back on him. Maybe that's why, despite appearances, he protected her. The boy finished listening. Meanwhile, in the rooms, each former member of Class A was contemplating the upcoming battle. Bakugo gripped one of his grenades tightly against his chest. Uraka took out a photo of her with Deku and caressed the face of her deceased ex-boyfriend while tearfully regretting what she had done. Mina and Kirishima sat at opposite ends of their bed, back turned to each other. Ida, on his bed, took out a photo of himself with Mei, tucked it into his jacket, which he hung up. He said a prayer and lay down. Jiro held a plush toy that Kaminari had given her, embracing it tightly as she cried. Todoroki, on his part, took out two photographs, one with Deku, his best friend, and another with his deceased family. In the classroom, the girl continued singing. Momo, they danced all day and into the night, through the snow that covered the hall. From winter to summer and back to winter again, until the walls crumbled and fell. And she never wanted to go, never wanted to go, never wanted to go, never wanted to go. And she never wanted to go, never wanted to go, never wanted to go, never wanted to go. High in the halls of the kings. The girl finished singing and began to sob. Ronin, beautiful song. Momo, huh? When? Since when have you been here? Ronin, since you started singing. Beautiful song, very sad, fitting for these times. Momo, I guess. Do you need company on guard duty? Ronin, no, I'm fine, thanks. I think you need more sleep than I do. You know, to dream of a better world. Momo, someday we'll have it. Maybe that's why we're both here. Ronin, yeah. Maybe. Rest. The boy waved and left, patiently holding his weapon. He had already killed some of those things that appeared by chance. He heard footsteps, raised his weapon, but discovered it was only Momo. Ronin, I told you I'm fine. You should sleep. Momo, I know, it's just that I can't, at least not until I tell you something. Ronin, what? Momo, no one knows, but all for one didn't kill Deku. Ronin, what are you talking about? Flashback. Todoroki, Momo, I'm not getting anything from Midoriya. My communicator is broken. Bakugo, do you receive anything? Bakugo, I lost mine. Someone needs to go. Momo, I'm the closest. I won't be long. Todoroki, take care, I don't want any surprises. The battle is over, but it's better to be prepared. Momo, I know. The girl approached, her communicator was still working, which was a relief. She slowly approached until the small earpiece began making noises. Deku, static, here, static, alive, static, copy? Momo, Deku? Deku, Mo. Momo? Is that you? God, that's good. Ha ha, it's Hero Deku. It seems I'm alive. Please help me. Momo, on my way. The girl started to run among the debris. Helping her friend was the least she could do after he managed to save everyone. The girl was getting close when. Unknown person, so, you're the famous Deku. Deku, you. Who are you? Unknown person, without you on the board alongside all for one, everything will be easier. Deku, we won't let you get away with it so easily. Who the heck are you? Jaeger, I admit I have bad manners. I'm the hero Deku, my name is Jaeger. Nice to meet you. Too bad it will be the last time. The girl was about to arrive, could see the guy, the new villain. The girl was about to use her quirk when she heard the freckled voice. Deku, don't come, stay away, run as fast as you can. Survive. Then she saw the villain raise a rod and thrust it into Deku's chest with force. The girl was paralyzed with fear, felt her blood freeze, her strength left her as she watched Jaeger pull out the spear and aim it at Deku's head to bury it again. He pulled it out and then noticed the girl, the man just smiled. Jaeger, neither you nor anyone can escape what's coming. The guy simply turned around and left. As soon as the girl couldn't see him anymore, she ran to the green-haired guy and saw him. Her face lost color, 
her eyes lost their shine, and he took his last breath. Deku was dead. Flashback end. Ronin, so, you. Momo, yes. I saw him die. Starting to cry, I told everyone he died from his injuries, I didn't want them to know that monster attacked him treacherously. But I could have done more if only I had been faster. Ronin, it would have killed you too then, we couldn't beat him, Momo. Besides, Izuku wouldn't have wanted that, he was a hero. He chose to protect you above all else. It wasn't your fault, understand? Momo, you don't know how I feel. Ronin, believe me, I must be the one who understands you the best right now. But you know something? You shouldn't be sad anymore. Do you know why? Momo, why? Ronin, because I'm here. You said it yourself, maybe I'm here for a reason. Let's hope it's to free everyone from this curse. Momo, let's hope. Ronin, but I can't do it alone, at least not alone. If you help me along with the others, then I believe we'll win. I'll kill that son of a bee and free your world. The girl looked at Ronin. That look she gave him when she first met him, full of hatred and anger, now turned to hope. The guy didn't console her hypocritically, each word carried a weight she understood. She immediately remembered her Izuku, and that gave her courage. The girl hugged the freckled guy and after a while let him go. Momo, you better not lie, okay? Ronin, he he, okay. Now, do you want to stand guard with me? I could use a hand. Momo, creating a weapon I was hoping you'd ask. Both kids positioned themselves, aiming at the veil of night covered by its blanket of stars. 